Today we're going to be calibrating a Panasonic 4K TV with our new Kalman Home Express bundle. We're using a C3 meter and we're using an Amazon Fire TV device. The Amazon Fire TV device is running our new Mobile Forge app and that will display all the patterns needed. The cool thing about Mobile Forge is that it's the first low cost solution to generate patterns. In the past, users have had to use pattern disk or expensive hardware generators. So this is the first low cost, easy to use pattern generator. And it's also a free download from within the Amazon store. One of the first steps you wanna do is once you receive your Calman Home Express bundle is go to register and then enter in all the required information and we'll send you the license key. We'll send it in electronic form so it'll be the easiest way to enter in the license key. Once you've filled out the form, you can go to the download tab here at the top and just select home video download and you'll just fill out your required information and hit download and it'll download to your desktop. I've already done that, so let's get started. So now that I have home theater downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open that up. The first dialog box that comes up is the license key dialog box and I have that here on my other screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the entire license key I'm going to go ahead and paste it in there. Add license. And once we've entered in the license key, we can go ahead and go download the Mobile Forge app. So we're going to go ahead and go to search and then enter in the entire Mobile Forge name. Uh, just be sure to type in the full name because it won't show up otherwise. Once you've had Mobile Forge downloaded, you can just go right here to the home page and it should show up right there. So we're at the first page of the Home Express workflow. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. The first thing we're gonna do is connect to Mobile Forge. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure our app is launched first. So our Mobile Forge app is running on our Panasonic TV with the Amazon Fire. So we're gonna go ahead and select manufacturer SpectraCal. It should populate here. There it is. And if it doesn't populate, try entering the IP address that's shown on your TV and hit connect. As you can see up here, we're connected, giving us a green light. The second step we're gonna do is find a meter. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the C3 over my TV, and then go ahead and plug the USB end of the meter into your computer. So the meter is plugged in, we'll go to find meter. And you can leave the boxes how they are and click search and it found the meter. So this is going to vary de depending on what type of display you have. I have a newer Panasonic 4K TV, so it's going to be LED backlit. Some older LCD TVs will be CCFL and obviously plasma and CRT are completely different technologies. So you'd probably know if you had one of those. So I'm going to select LCD LED and I hit next. This is just confirming that our meter is placed in the center of the TV, which it already is for me. We'll go next. So this mode will also depend on what type of TV you have. The custom mode on the Panasonic is probably the best mode to start out with to calibrate from. So I'm just gonna confirm that I have my display in custom mode, which it is. And we'll go ahead and hit next. So this page is basically explaining that you need to turn off any of these auto features that can interfere with getting the best settings on your TV. So all of the auto features are off on this display. We'll go next. So the first step we're gonna do is the brightness pattern. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this button and that'll bring up the patch on the TV. We'll go ahead and go to our brightness We'll turn it all the way up, like it says in step two. And then we're just going to slowly decrease the brightness until you can no longer see the gray box. This step is going to depend on your lighting environment. So right now we're in a pretty dimly lit room. So if you're in a brighter room, obviously the, the setting is going to be a little bit different. And right about 14, looks like it disappeared. And then we're gonna just bump it back up a couple notches to like 16, where you can barely see the box, like it says at the end of step three. So we're gonna hit next.
So now we're at the contrast page and we're going to make some adjustments on the TV. Right now I have the menu on the TV set to 100 contrast. We'll just bring it down as need be. So I'm going to go ahead and click read series. And so as you can see, uh, the red, blue, and green are plateauing right here at the 95 mark. And what that means is that the display is clipping. Uh, the reason why the blue is so high here is because the color temperature is still is pretty cool, which we'll adjust in the next page. But it's fine that it's that spaced. We just are worried about the plateauing here. So what I'm going to do is go into the menu, and we're going to go to, let's say, 90. Bring it down to 90 here. And then we'll just take another read series and see where we're at. So all the lines are linear here. Um, the reason why this blue is so out here and going off is not because it's clipping, it's because the display is still too cool. So we're going to go ahead and adjust that here in the next page. So I'm going to go ahead and take a reading of our color temperature. It's at 9000 Kelvin, so that's way too cool for what we want. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu and go to color temperature. I'm going to go to warm one and we'll take another reading and see where we're at. Okay, so that's a little bit closer. I'm going to go ahead and see what warm two does and then we'll take another reading. So that's pretty darn close. It's, a, it's almost exactly 6500K. So I'm going to leave it on warm two. So we're going to go ahead next. This is the gamma page. The TV is set to a gamma of 2.2 right now. So we're going to go ahead and take a read series and see how well that measures. So as you can see, the 100 patch is hitting 2.2. That's normal. It should be hitting 2.2 every time. That's just a reference patch. The 60 patch, however, is under 2.2, so we'll need to go into the menu and make some adjustments. Step 3 tells us that we want to get the reading as close to the yellow target as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu for the TV. and. Our gamma control is under advanced settings, gamma. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 2.3 and take another read. That's a little bit closer. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 2.4, see if we can get even closer. Take another read series. So it looks like the 2.3 was a little bit better, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to that. We'll just confirm that with another read series. And it looks good, so we'll go ahead and hit next. So this page is applicable to only some displays. Basically, you want to cycle through your different color space options if you have them on your display. It might give you some options such as Rec. 709 or another color space standard. And even if you're, you know what you're looking for, you should still cycle through each of the color space options and take measurements because a lot of the time the labels don't represent what they actually are. Uh, this is true for other things such as contrast and gamma. Um, it's best to just test what's best and go from there. I don't have that feature on this TV, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. So now we're at the Calibrate 2 Point Grayscale page. So Calman has this cool feature down here, it's called Read Continuous. And basically what it does is just take continuous reads as you make adjustments. So if your menu is non-intrusive to where your meter is placed, you can go ahead and click Read Continuous and start making adjustments. One thing to know about the Read Continuous is if you're having reading errors, you can go up here to the Meter tab and select On or Auto for the Sync Mode, and it should clear up those read errors that you sometimes get with continuous reads. I'm going to go ahead and take a read series just to get a baseline of where we're at. And as you can see, we're off a little bit, so we need to make some adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the menu here. I'm going to go to Advanced and then White Balance. Then I'm going to make sure I have the, the 80 patch selected here. And then for the 80 patch, we're going to make the adjustments and the gains up here at the top. So it looks like our green is a little high, so I'm going to bring this down to negative 2 and then 
we'll just do a read continuous just to see. So it looks like our red just went up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and go into the red gain. Wait for the graphs to equalize after being on the menu. And I'll bring this one down by one. It's a little bit better. So that's a pretty good result right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click stop. So now that the 80 patch is somewhat adjusted, we're going to go to the 30 patch. And we'll go into our menu again. And we're going to go into the cutoffs, which is the low or the offset, depending on the manufacturer. They'll call it different things. And I'm going to go ahead and bring the green down one. We're going to go ahead and hit the read continuous button again. So it looks like I need to bring the blue down one or two. So that's a pretty good result right there. I go ahead and hit stop. And then I'm going to take another read series just to get an overview of what adjustments I made. So that's a pretty good result there. It's under a delta E of one, which is considered imperceptible to a human eye. So it looks like our two-point grayscale is done. And that was the last page on the workflow. So it looks like we have a successfully calibrated Panasonic display. And that's the end of the calibration process. If you want to go into more detail or want more control over your calibration process, you can upgrade to CalMan Control or CalMan Enthusiast. And we never penalize for upgrades, so we would just deduct what you've already paid us and you could get the next upgrade in software. Thank you for watching our tutorial on Home Express, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we're always putting up new tutorials, new videos for how to get the best results out of many different displays and how to calibrate them to industry standards. And now you can enjoy content on your TV knowing that it's calibrated to industry standards, just how the content that you're watching was mastered for it to look.